Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how I plan to use each one of my clay pots. So, for example, when you're buying your clay pots, um, look and see for it what purpose you would be using what is your diet like what kind of recipes you usually cook i chose this uh, for the fact that it is wide mouth so you can see how it is open and i plan to use this for vegetables because i eat a lot of veggies as you know if you have been a part of the garden recipe and it's easier to cook uh, with a wooden spatula in a wide mouth as opposed to something that's more narrow and closed so i love this and also it's um, great way to make uh, sometimes reheat your lentils or soup because it's you know again it's open so that is what I'll be using this for okay this I have already mentioned this is for my dogs uh, these two um, for refilling the water during the summer to keep their body naturally cool and it provides minerals and vitamins to the dogs when they drink from this it also has powerful antibacterial properties so um it really is a way to keep your you know beloved animals healthy i would i also advise if you can get some more uh, which i plan to do next time uh, you know this is what we would use to fill water and keep it outside so that the poor birds and the squirrels and little frogs uh, even those sacred animals can have a source of water during the high heat of the summer. So it is used for that. And in India, we often see uh, peacocks around some areas. We might see some monkeys even. So it is used for monkeys, peacocks to have some hydration during hot summertime. It is used for crows, the birds, and um, stray cats and stray dogs. You do have to take care of this though because after you refill the water um, each day you have to brush it out so that it will not make any mold so don't buy this just for the excitement of buying some clay pots for your dog no it takes work uh, you would have to clean this every single day um, it's not like plastic cookware which you don't have to worry about if you don't clean it uh, the water will uh, form a bacterial infection mold or something from uh, if you don't clean it all right i'm going to discuss that later on but just a quick tip okay this one as you can see is much smaller generally it is advised to keep one um handy one clay handy one clay cookware like this for sweet recipes and one clay cookware like this for uh, your savory recipes and the reason is because um, clay is porous. It absorbs the, the flavors of the recipe that you're cooking. So, for example, if I cook with mustard oil, it would not be so advisable generally to cook uh, lentils. Uh, I'm sorry, if I cook with mustard oil, and I'm making uh, lentils in this, it would not be so advisable to cook some uh, sweet uh, recipe like uh, halwa in this, you know. Um, so that is why people say, you know, have separate pots for sweet and then for savory. However, I'm lucky in that way because I don't have a sweet tooth. Yeah, believe me. I have no sweet tooth and I only love savory recipes and that's what I cook. So I can use both of them for savory recipes. And you can see one is bigger. So this is going to be really good in, for making lentils because lentils take time to boil. They need more water. And also they need some seasoning like tarka, we call it in my language. So this would be really a great one where I can just saute some things and then put in lentils, put in some water and uh, let it cook. And um, this one would be uh, great, I'm thinking, for rice because uh, rice quinoa something like that that i don't eat in large quantities so for example uh, you can just boil your rice in this and um, because even though you're filling it with water you're using less quantity of the uh, rice so it would be great for that and then of course you can just use this oh no sorry i think this is for this one when you cover this up and cover this up 
how beautiful are these I just love them so this is how you use your clay paws and this is how you decide what recipes you like to make and what you need it for and what kind of um, variety you need make sure you always buy something that is wide mouth make sure you always buy something different uh, for savory versus sweet recipes if you are uh, not having a sweet tooth then you can use some both for the same recipes however buy something bigger for lentils and something smaller for rice quinoa this kind of recipes and then of course make sure you buy something for your pets it is very healthy for them and of course you can also go ahead and buy some extra ones for outdoor animals and give them the same love you give so freely to your dogs all right this is it for it